I decided to test my sperm health to see if I'm fertile or not. I keep getting these ads from this company called Legacy, and it says, invest in your sperm, test your sperm. And I decided to take a sperm health test to see where I lie, because not only that, but also just knowing my health about everything, I need to know. And I wanna take you on this journey with me, as well as my two roommates, because I wanted to see who has the most Olympic swimmers. Today, I'm testing my fertility. We have these Legacy boxes where we are going to give a sample inside of this vial. There's a liquid for transportation that's also inside of here. And I don't only have one kit, but I have two more. So let's go hand these out and we're gonna find out who has the best little swimmers. I did grow up swimming. First step is recruiting my roommates. I haven't really told them yet. Hey, Tejas, what are you doing? Working. Okay, I need you for a second. House meeting. Colt, what are you doing? I'm working. House meeting! Content closet house meeting! Everyone assemble! But first, why sperm health? Actually, I was trying to understand why it's important. Um, obviously, if you want to have children, but it can also be a biomarker in terms of how healthy your different lifestyle behaviors are. And if you don't want to have children today, if you want to have children later, especially after 35, so this service not only allows you to test your sperm, but they also allow you to freeze your sperm, and they also provide supplements. You know, everyone provides supplements. Last time he did this, he surprised us with tickets to London. <laughs> <laughs> I thought. Whoa. Let's hope it's like that, huh? That would be pretty sick. But there's a, the way he's doing this is sussing me out a little bit. He's steaming up there. I want to have a conversation about the bathroom. Yeah, actually, we have that conversation. <laughs> so I'm going to actually just need 30 minutes of your time, maybe just 30 seconds, to be honest with you. But I have a surprise. Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh, whoa, whoa. What is this? Is oh, what is this? I have these tests. Have you ever thought about your children? Sure. Yeah. Global rates of fertility have decreased by 70%. Whose fault is that? We're not gonna have babies. I know both of you are my sons. But are so these I've always tests? wanted grandchildren. So we're gonna do a little sperm test to see how fertile we are. Bro, I saw. I thought that was a, your new lunchbox that was just chilling <laughs> up over there. Did you actually? Yeah, I was like, oh, that's a pretty fancy lunchbox. So inside of here. We're doing maybe. sperm tests? <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> so according to them, sperm from people over 35 are six times more likely to result in an unhealthy pregnancy. Using cannabis at least once a week may result in one third fewer sperm. And then taking testosterone supplements can bring your sperm count to zero within six months. You know, if you watched in the past, I've done a testosterone supplement video. So that scared me a little bit. And if you do want to check out Legacy, I do have an affiliate link and a discount code below. Please make sure to click that if you'd like, that helps support the channel. If not, just go to their website on your own and it does not support the channel. But they did not pay me to make this video. I just really wanted to make this video and they did give me and my two roommates free test kits. So just keep that in mind. But they do not get to see this video before it gets published. Now, how does the test work? Inside of the sperm testing kit, we're gonna have some ice packs that are room temperature. We're gonna have a little vial here for lab purposes only. And yes, it is like a pea cup. You're gonna to wanna to fill it up. And you want to look at to see how much you can add into it, all right? Fill it up with what? <laughs> have, you, uh, have you watched the Olympics? No. Has anyone told you about the birds and the bees? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we need to export a sample into a bottle. Once that's filled up, then you wanna gently add this liquid. This is, uh, this is not steroids, but it kinda of looks like it, right? This is Enhanced WG. Uh, it's gonna help store your Michael Phelps. There is a FDA approved sperm transport liquid that we mix it with. The whole thing. You swirl it up gently, and then you'll put it in this box, and you don't need anything else, and it'll just be this packaging, the warm ice packs, you zip this up. There's gonna be a red locking zip tie mechanism because I want to make sure you guys are not mixing your things, you're not doping, okay? Should we like label these? <laughs> yeah, that's probably a good idea. We're gonna tie with the red piece, put it back in the box, and then we're all gonna go drop it off at FedEx and we'll get our results in two days. Okay, wait, hold on. We just wanna throw those things really fast. <laughs> Why are the ice packs room temperature? I don't are, know. are we sure they're supposed to be room yeah, temperature? Yeah, yeah, I checked, I checked. What? I, what? How does, how does I don't know, they, they come cold to keep it cold for now, but it's gonna be fine, trust me. I read the instructions. Because I don't wanna do this again. <laughs> I don't even wanna do this right now. But, okay, okay, but there is one rule. Oh, I want to make sure so that you guys followed it. It is 2.15. Okay, we have to get this shipped out by 3 p.m. I'm not like even in Dude, the mood. I'm not even in the mood, yeah. Wait, so we dump the whole thing of this in there? Yeah, after, the whole after thing. After we do the job. Yes, correct. This is for science. Dude, 45 minutes? This is so weird. I don't even have, I just have curtains in my room. We're all, gonna, we're all just going to go to our rooms. First one to come out of their room, loses. I mean, wins, wins, wins. Dude, I don't think I can do it. Yo, this is a lot. <laughs> it doesn't matter how much you fill it up, and it's not a lot. You don't need to fill it up. You just need to mark what how much you fill it up. 
Double checking. Okay. We do the thing in here. Yes. Literally open this whole thing, pour that in, gently swirl. Not with your finger. No, 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 like, like, like this, like this. <laughs> yes. Gently swirl. Yes. And, and then, then you put it back in here. Like that. And then you'll close this. I don't have an ice pack. That's fine. What do you mean that's fine? That's not <laughs> fine. Okay, grab this one. What? <laughs> Swap it out. Leave the ice packs in there. too warm. Whoa, 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 don't touch my thing. What are you doing? Okay. Wait, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to figure out what the f I need to do. After I do this. You need to milk the cow. Okay, we put this liquid in there. Correct. We, we swirl. With the raw milk. And then, where's the red zip tie thing? Uh, one second. And then, uh, there's no marking of whose is whose. I made a big mistake. There's something you really want to make sure. Do not discard a box. There's a tape, there's a zip tie to make sure that our samples don't get mixed, and then this QR code is going to be your QR code. We all need to register right now, too. Dude, Dude there's no way I'm no way I'm get three. Okay, let's do this. Let's... I thought we were... You only need 30 seconds. Dude, <laughs> this is a process. Get to work, boys. Scan your QR codes, your phones. Let's go, let's go. What the heck? Okay, so I've been seeing these Instagram ads a lot from this company, so I reached out to them. Ultimate post not clarity, <laughs> oh my You guys God. have not been getting these ads? No, bro. Register kit, are you ready to collect your sample? It's a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday before 3 p.m. I have not ejaculated in the past two to five days. Oh yeah, that's another rule. Have you guys not ejaculated in the past two to five days? Yeah. Uh, I have. You have, but Kareez is not here. I just, I just be doing my thing, you know? <laughs> in the last two to five days? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. I can't check this box. What do you mean? Option two. Which is? Two to five days. When did you jerk off last? Yesterday. We might be breaking some of the rules here. Take wait, wait. the sperm transport liquid out of the refrigerator what? and wait 45 minutes before producing a sample. Maybe somebody, hold on. What did you just say? Take sperm transportation liquid out of the refrigerator before producing your sample. Wait 45 minutes for sperm liquid to reach room temperature. Sorry, my ears no work. I, okay, I guess I, I did that already. Don't worry. <laughs> I took it out of the refrigerator. What the heck? This is super sus. Are you ready to collect your sample? I guess it sperm health is important. Oh yeah, here we go. Why do we have to do it with the boys? It's kind of weird. <laughs> okay, so the first things we we registered the kit. It's Monday or Tuesday. Let's load two thirty, two twenty two. Um, I have not. I'm gonna check that. I'm prepared to ship it back today. We're gonna take it straight to FedEx right after this. All right, I'm going. Um, in. I'll drop it off myself. I have chosen a FedEx drop off. Why do you walk in my room? <laughs> Register your kit. We did that. There's the whole video. We understood it. And now sample. I need to produce the sample. Before producing a sample, wait 45 minutes. Okay, we did that. Wash your hands and genitals to prevent contamination. Do you guys wash your hands and your genitals or do you need me to help? I really have to Open just, the like, cup. Dry. Produce the sample by, you know, into the cup. And do not use lubricant or saliva. Okay, guys, I know that you love the strawberry lubricant, but we can't use that. This is, there's so many things wrong with this. <laughs> I'm just rubbing it out dry now <laughs> with three dudes around. <laughs> you can't use your saliva either. I, oh, okay, that's weird. I, uh... <laughs> just make sure you have the right box. Where are you guys doing this? In my room. <laughs> I don't have a lock. I'm going in the bathroom. Wait, where are you going? <laughs> I went in the bathroom. My door doesn't have a lock. It's so This weird. is for science. <laughs> Wait, so in here and then and then, yeah, there's a, there's a red zip tie. Make sure to open up that packaging, too, just in case. I guess maybe do it after. I'm not having fun. Well, this is the best part, is that you can do this at home in the comfort of your own home where you feel relaxed and calm. So that's nice, where if you went to a clinic, then it just becomes... <laughs> Why are your pants <laughs> off, bro? Why are you walking with no pants on? I want to make sure my hands this is so are not going to contaminate You just have it around your one ankle. I'm, ta so I'm taking it off. Oh. Wait, we know what we're about to do. Why are you surprised? And our lease ends in like three months, and I really hope they're going to renew. I'm going. Everyone has their box. I'm going off to the deep end. To my future kids, when you're 18, I'll show you this video. We got this. How does it feel to be first? I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. <laughs> so what do I do now? Are we waiting to do this before we... <coughs> I know, huh? What do you hear? No, bro! Dude, Loki, I'm, I'm afraid. Like, what if I'm, like, sterile or something? Infertile? Infertile. Yeah. That would kind of suck. Yeah. That abnormal results on here do not mean you're infertile. Yes, I'm joking that this is a fertility test, but technically it's just a sperm health test. You're not gonna know if you're fertile or not fertile. <laughs> I need a help. You want gonna come help out? What's going on? All right, there's my sample inside of here. Zip it up. Slide or... it into the vault. Yeah, yeah. Do you put it in? Yeah. 
Yeah. You guys already locked yours up? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got this red thing right here uh, to lock up the thing. We're gonna slide that in right here. Oh, there we go. All these things to make sure that your sperm's gonna be protected. And if you do have the choice, you wanna freeze your sperm, if you're getting old like me. I already have one set of children. If I wanna have my second set, Whoa. usually your sperm tends to degrade, I think after 35 years old. So it might be a good choice to freeze these sperm to make sure I have you know, high quality children in the future. Although the sperm is not frozen while it's being transported, it is frozen in minus 320 degrees Fahrenheit, liquid and nitrogen, so all of your biological activity is paused. And backups are important. The sample stays in two locations. So in case there's a natural disaster, you always have a backup of your DNA. And you can keep your sperm frozen for up to 40 years, which is a very, very, very long time. It's 2.41, the clock is ticking. Make sure, yeah, you got your label and the tape to make sure no one tampers or opens the box. Oh yeah, complete your survey. Did you yeah, make yeah. sure you put how much liquid you put in? Yeah, what'd you guys get? What'd you get? What'd you get? All right, ready? We'll say it at the same time. Three, two, one, four, four point five. five. <laughs> Dude, I, I wasn't full, bro. <laughs> bro I was empty. <laughs> I wasn't full. <laughs> Damn, I thought I didn't have a lot either, but I guess. <laughs> so when you're signing for, when you're registering, you can pick the date you want to deliver and you want to do this on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday or Thursday, not a Friday or weekend. And if you do accidentally order it like him and you want to do it on a different day, just make sure to put the liquid in the fridge. But everything else can stay outside. So that was a lesson learned. We got the label on there, we got the tape. Okay. Shipping label applied. Boom. Healthcare provider will review analysis and discuss your results. Yep. Sounds good. What are my informations on here? The, the QR code you scanned is registered to your code now. Are you sure? I'm like 99% sure. I don't think I scanned the QR code. I just said register kit. How did you register did you kit? Register it without scanning the QR. I don't know. All right, whatever. Let's just turn it on. Now we go to FedEx. Why would we get the same exact results? I I like, get... if both is, like, I don't know, actually. I think what could happen is I get your result and you get my result. <laughs> That's equally unhelpful. <laughs> what, is, what is this testing? It's just testing sperm quality, sperm count, and your mortality, how good your swimmers are, like, how many swimmers age? there are. Like my sperm is 18 years old strong? <laughs> yeah, it could be. 40 year old. <laughs> then we're gonna get a dashboard of like 10 different things. Who do you think is gonna win? You. Why me? You're the, come on, baby. Let's go. <laughs> I know you got it in there, guys. Wake up. I was like zero out of 10 libido, and I had to get it to 10 out of 10 libido within four minutes. <laughs> oh yeah, this is a fun fact. So sperm from people over 35 is six times more likely to result in an unhealthy pregnancy. Thank God, none of us over are over 35. 35. Yeah. Oh my, wait, for guys? Yeah. Whoa. And I always thought it was on the girl. Taking testosterone can lower your sperm count to zero within six months. 255, military time. It's fragile, yeah. So we're gonna put it right back. Okay, all right. And then next one. Well, next. it's so easy. Where's the receipt right? Oh, there we go. Yeah, all right, two more days until we see the final results. Now, one thing that was a struggle is we did order all three of our tests at the same house, and we actually did mix up two of our results, I think. So then Colt and Tages had to redo their results. And then the second time, Tages had to redo it for a third time. I think just keep in mind, because we are shipping it back, one, you want to make sure you take it to the right center. You do it at the right time. You're abstinent for five days because the transit from the home to the lab can have a small effect on your sample. And if you don't follow the steps to a T, then it can have a large effect on your sample. And then you have to redo the test. We have the final sperm results here. I haven't looked at them yet. I will dive deeper into what my results are and what my numbers were for each specific thing. So what's nice for my semen analysis, they said that my results are within the normal range set by the WHO, which is the World Health Organization. So my total count was 82.32 million, which is kind of like on the lower okay range. And if I want to improve it, they do give me some tips here of 10 science-backed active ingredients in a once-a-day capsule, so I could try that. I could try avoiding exposure to chemicals or heat, and I think with sauna use, it can actually decrease some of your numbers. My total motile count was 39.79 million. This is calculated by multiplying my concentration by volume and motility. And I was once again on the lower normal range, you know, I'd like to be on the higher normal range. And because sperm health declines with age, it's probably recommended to preserve my current sperm today. And CoQ10, a supplement, could actually help. And then once again, they have the supplements. Next is volume. I had 2.25 milliliters, and I guess I'm within normal range. My concentration, 36.59. And that just means I have a normal chance of being able to fertilize an egg naturally. And every single tip, it seems like they're just like, buy storage, buy our supplements. Like D-aspartic acid. Limited data, may suggest, if I take it for three months. Now, if you wanna see me test their supplements and do like a three month before and after, Comment down below, and if we get enough comments, then maybe I'll do that. My morphology, 3%. It's in the low range. And then it could also be impacted by genetic conditions, 
toxic chemicals or heat. I've been hearing certain clothes can impact it. So many different tests I could do. Which ones do you want to see? What was your thoughts overall with the experience? How was it? Was it bonding? Colt? It was kind of weird, not gonna lie, doing it with the boys. I think usually you probably do this by yourself. Um, and then Shervin was having fun throwing the boxes around and actually swapped ours. So we had to do it again off camera. Um, you never did it on camera. <laughs> they just was one thing you liked and one thing you didn't like. I mean, that was my first ever fertility test. The pros, it's cool to have it in your own environment. I think the cons is like, there are a lot of variables by shipping it in, right? You have to not worry about like, we have to time it to FedEx, right? Like make sure that we drop it off at three o'clock. I still feel the same. I think my confidence is up a little bit, but. You're gonna be safer with uh... Always. 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 Okay, so no behavior's changing there. A knight doesn't go into battle without his armor. <laughs> Ken, can you be in charge of looking at the results? Yes, sir. So let's find out who the winner of the Content Closet Swimming Competition is. I did grow up swimming, so I think it's gonna be me. Ken! Alright, I'm gonna start in third place. Ah. Uh. Third place. Drum roll, drum roll. Change the floor. In second place. Shervin. Uh, uh, first uh, place, Colt Kerwin with 325 uh, million total count right there. No way, bro. Dude, that's crazy. <laughs> Yo, size doesn't matter things out there. Since you enjoyed this video, go watch my videos where I tested my testosterone supplements. I posted that out about a year ago. I want to do some more supplement testing and update videos coming very soon. Subscribe, turn on notifications. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.